so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! Woohoo! <laughs> Over here, <laughs> Peekaboo! Hello, Peekaboo! I'm over here! Whoa! <laughs> here I am! <laughs> and today we're here at Finley City Schools Preschool in Ohio! Yeah! And Mrs. Geisy is the winner of the Classroom Teacher Contest! So we're here to say hello to her class and to surprise them. Woo. Let's go! You guys, I have a surprise for you today. We have a very special guest. Are you ready? I think this is Mrs. Geisy's class. Do all of you want to play a game together? Yeah! Hmm. Well, I was thinking we could do freeze dance! Yeah, okay, let's stand up. And do you know how to play freeze dance? Yeah! You do? Good! So, we'll dance when? The music's on. Okay. We'll freeze when the music's off. Stop! Well, stop! Okay, time to dance! Hit the music! Okay, here we go! Woo! Yeah! Woo! -hoo! Yeah! Keep on dancing! You can see. Mrs. Geist, do you think we could play another game? Yeah, do you want to join us for some fun activities? Yeah, that'd be so fun. Okay, everyone, let's go! Woohoo! Hello! Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Xavier. Can I color with you? Yeah. Whoa, what are you drawing? Whoa, are these flower stems? Yeah. Whoa, are you drawing some grass? Well, maybe we could all draw a garden. Maybe I'll draw some, some grass, too. I'll try to see me and you. Oh, that's so nice. Well, drawing me could be tricky, but do you know what colors you'll need to draw me? Uh, blue, blue, blue and orange. orange. Yeah, that makes sense. Some orange color for my hat and suspenders and my glasses and some blue for my shirt. Oh! <laughs> but I need to do that on the paper. <laughs> okay. And your shoes. Whoa, my shoes too. Well, maybe I'll draw a flower. Maybe, how about I draw a blippy flower? See, I'll draw a big stem first. Why? And then maybe, a leaf and two leaves. Oh. <laughs> and then, hmm, maybe I'll make a blue, some blue petals and some orange petals. Why could you make no? <laughs> Whoa, Xavier, what do you want to draw? Uh, I draw my main you, but the city is blue and orange. Whoa, we're in a city and the entire city is blue and orange? Thank <laughs> you! Whoa, so if you go to a shop, it's blue and orange shop. And if you go to the grocery store and you find fruit and food, it's all blue and orange? Yeah! Every single thing? Yeah! Really? Yeah! Whoa! Whoa, look! I drew all, I drew all of us! <laughs> look, it's me, because I'm really, really tall and blue and orange. Hey, look, it's you three! <laughs> yeah! It's Charlotte and Audrey and Xavier, and we're all blue and orange. <laughs> that I think that's you, right? And that can be Audrey and oh, hi, hi, Mrs. Geisy. Hi, Blippi. Yeah. Do you guys want to play with some shaving cream? I'm yeah. Gonna it. Whoa, whoa, nice. yeah. Let's do some shaving cream, and we'll also finish our drawings too. <laughs> but Mrs. Geisy, what should we do with the shaving cream? Yeah, so I'm gonna give you some shaving cream on your tray, and then we like to practice writing letters in the whoa, shaving. Oh, I love writing letters. Okay, so here I'll take some, and Audrey can have some too. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> it's so foamy. <laughs> oh, can I have some, please? Whoa! 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 Oh no! I got shaving cream all over me! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> well, that was a little silly, right? You got a lot. Did I get a lot? Yeah. Whoa. Well, should we try spelling some letters together? 
That'd be funny. <laughs> well, Audrey, what letter should we spell first? Uh, let's spell A. A, okay, here we go. I'm gonna mix it around. Okay, happened? now it's time to do a letter A for Audrey, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. A. The letter A! A for Audrey! Woohoo! Yeah! It's still spelling mine now. Woo! Oh, uh oh. Looks like I got a little more shaving cream on me. <laughs> you got a lot! Oh, wait. How about we do uh, the letter C for Charlotte? Do we do that next? Okay, C. Whoa, C! Woo. Is it C? Yeah, it's your name. <laughs> Charlotte. Okay, and then what letter should we do next? X. X for Xavier! Yeah! Okay, here we go. Done. Done. Whoa, X! X for? And A. Xavier! Woohoo! I have an idea. Xavier, Charlotte, and Audrey, do you want to spell my name with shaving cream? Yeah! Okay, well, first letter is a B. 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 And then the second letter is an L. L. And then, do you know the next letter? It's an I. Woo. I. <laughs> and then the next letter is actually two letters. Hmm. Do you know what those next two letters P are? P. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Audrey. Yeah. P and P. Woo. Woo. And then the last one is I. It goes P, P, I. P, P, I. I'm gonna give Charlotte all the shaving cream and we'll make a shaving cream tower. How about that? Yeah. Whoa. No. There you no, go. Not me. Not me. There you go. I want some shaving cream. You want some shaving cream too? There you go, Xavier. Yeah. Oh, you want some shaving cream too? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wait. I have an idea. How about we get some more shaving cream from Mrs. Geisy? No. Should we get a lot of shaving cream? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mrs. Geisy. We had a lot of fun spelling out some letters and my name, but can we get even more shaving cream? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Some more. And give some, and some to Charlotte, and some to Xavier. Oh, they yeah. got more. And some for me. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. hey, oh, 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 keep going. I need the shaving cream off You can keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Geisy. What? I'll tell you when. <laughs> Just a little bit more. I don't know if it's enough. Do you think this is enough shaving cream? Yeah. Maybe. Not yet. I don't think it's enough. It's not enough. There we go. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Mrs. Guys, I think that's enough shaving cream. Whoa! Here you go, Charlotte. Do you want some more shaving cream? Here's some more shaving cream! Whoa! 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 <laughs> this is fun, but I think we better go do another activity, and I think I need to get a little cleaned up. No! Oh, me three. I'll see you soon! Whoa! Oh, hey, everyone, can I play blocks with you? Yeah, look at my castle! It's so big! Whoa, are you making a castle? Yeah, look at mine! Whoa, Cooper, that's an awesome castle! Whoa! Oh, hi, Ava. Hi, Marcy. Can I dump all these blocks out so we can make the biggest castle ever? Yeah. yeah. Do you think this is enough? Yeah. Think we yeah. have enough blocks for a big castle? What? Yeah, Ava? We can use these for potions. Whoa, yeah. We can use the little cubes for little people. So they can be the king and the queen and all the people of the castle. <laughs> That's a good idea, Ava. And it's for them. Whoa, okay, so maybe we can clear some area and start building it up big. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna make the big tower in the center of the castle. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool castle. Whoa, thanks, Cooper. That's really nice of you to say. Do you wanna help me make it even taller? Ava, can you put your throne in the center? Yeah. Yeah. So we can have the king and the queen in the castle, but I think we can make this castle even bigger. Woo. Okay, let's see how tall we can make it. Okay, I'm Ooh. almost done. 
Marcy, how's it going over there? Are you building a little house for the city? Yeah, yeah that's a pretty good house. I'm not building a house. <laughs> I placed the phone. Whoa! We have a throne in the castle. Look, it's right there in the center. Oh, and then is this the sidewalk that, uh, that leads up yeah. to the throne? I think that's a good idea, this too. This is the door. I think... A door to the castle? Whoa! Both of our castles are getting so tall! Oh, well, that was great. Nice. <laughs> okay, we gotta keep on building because this isn't a small castle. This is a huge castle! Cooper, Ava, and Marcy, how about we knock over the castle like a dragon on the count of three? Are you ready? Cooper, do you wanna help? Yeah. You wanna help knock down the castle? We'll all be dragons. Okay, on the count of three, dragon time! Three, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> that was so silly! We better make another house, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're lying. Oh, but I don't know why all those blocks fell down. Hmm, well, maybe Miss Geisy knows. Oh, hi, Miss Geisy. Hi, Blippi. Well, the three of us were building a really cool house and also a castle, and then we became dragons, and all the blocks fell down. Do you know why that is? I do. So the blocks fell down because of gravity. It's the invisible force that makes things fall down and keeps everything on the ground. Oh, yeah. So when you drop a block, it doesn't float away into space. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <Yes>. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ava. Just like that. Well, I think we better build another house, right, Ava? Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Ava. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> you all want to play Follow the Leader now? Okay, let's go down the slide and we can all play follow the leader, okay? I want to slide with you. Okay, here we go. Cooper, slide down. Whoa. Okay, Ava, here we go. Ready? Woohoo! Yeah! Whoa, here we go. <laughs> okay, everyone ready for follow the leader? Yeah. You want to play too, Audrey? Okay, here we go. Time to follow the leader. So let's line up and here we go. Woohoo! Okay, the first thing we're going to do is be airplanes. Woo! Okay, now let's all be excavators. Follow the leader excavator style. Uh -huh. Woohoo! Here we come. We're going down the slide. Everyone follow me. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, I have an idea. What if we kept playing, but we had Mrs. Geisy join in? Come on, Mrs. Geisy. Hi, guys. Follow the leader. Let's go. Okay, this time, let's be dinosaurs. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was funny. Well, who wants a turn to be the leader now? Hey! Okay, time to follow Xavier. Let's go. Woohoo! Okay, Audrey, let's go this way, and you can be the leader. Let's follow Audrey. Come on. Okay, now who's turn next to be the leader? Who hasn't gone? Whoa, Cooper, thanks for bringing us to this bench. <laughs> Think we might need a little bit of a break after all that following of the leader. Hmm. Oh, but is there another game that maybe we could yeah. play? What should we play? Race. A race? Yeah. Whoa, well, I'll race you to the other side of the playground. Yeah. Okay, ready everyone for a race? Here we go. Three, two, one, race! Think I need a sip of water and maybe a break. <laughs> oh, I bet Miss Geisy has another activity for me to do. Woo! Hi, Mrs. Geisy. Hi, Blippi. What's everyone doing here? We were just getting ready to have a race. Do you want to join us? Well, a tricycle race? I'll give that a try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. All right, everyone ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! <gasps> oh! Cooper, you're so fast! Uh, uh, I'm gonna catch you! Cooper! Woohoo! Yeah. yeah! Good job! Woohoo! Yeah! We did it! Yeah! Woo! 
<laughs> uh, thank you, Mrs. Geisy, That's for fun. spending such a fun day with us, teaching us some activities and playing some games. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with all of us? Okay, ready everyone? Here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, good job. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone. me, Flippy, <laughs> and today we're here at Feast on This <laughs> in San Diego, California. Whoa, and I am so excited because today you and I get to learn about a catering company. <laughs> yeah, they make all kinds of tasty food at special events like birthdays ooh, <laughs> or weddings. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Look at this really cool kitchen! And hey, who's this over here? Hello! <laughs> it's me, Blippi! Hi, Blippi! Hi! What's your name? My name is Michael, and I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. Whoa, that's so cool! <laughs> and this is Matthew. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hello, I'm Chef Matthew Baker. I am the owner of Feast on This Catering Company. And guess what? I'm deaf, so that's why I have an interpreter who's here with me so we can communicate. Ooh, that's so cool! Hey, I have an idea. I bet Chef Matthew will help us cook some yummy food! <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think we're all ready to get started. Great, come on over. Come on. Whoa. So, Chef Matthew, what are we cooking today? Hmm. So we're gonna make fruit pizza. Ooh. And it's gonna look like this when it's all done. Whoa, look at it. It's a pizza, but it's covered with different types of fruit. <laughs> and I'm really excited because I love pizza. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. So, Chef Matthew, what's the first thing we need to do to make the fruit pizza? Hmm. Okay, well, I am excited to have Chef Blippi with us today. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. So can you take this and rip this part off? Okay. And put down the crust. Okay, first, we're gonna open this up, unwrap it, right? Then, whoa. <laughs> Just like that. Do you hear that? Ooh, look at it. <laughs> it's so sticky. Oh, we're gonna take this out. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now we unroll it. We're gonna make it really flat. See like this. Here we go. Let's see if we can unroll. This is so sticky. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be done. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> now we move on to step number two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, it in the oven at 350 degrees. That means it's time to dance. Best thing to do while you wait for your pizza crust to finish cooking is have a lot of fun dancing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, I'm pretty tired after all that dancing. I think we should keep on working on the other ingredients, then we'll come back and get the crust a little later. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, so what's the next step? Okay, now we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> okay, so cream cheese, awesome, and I guess. So we're gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese, which is in that bowl. And now we're gonna add some powdered sugar. Okay. Can you hand me that half a cup measure? Yeah, half a cup. Yeah, right here. Half 
like that. Okay, and we're gonna fill it up. Whoa, <laughs> look at the sugar. It looks like snow. Whoa, it's so cool. And it's really soft when you touch it. <laughs> I bet this is gonna make it so tasty. Okay, so we take the sugar and we're just gonna put it on top. Oh wait, you're gonna make a mess. You have to put on an apron first. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. Silly me. <laughs> Here we go. You don't wanna have a sugar mess. Yeah, always make sure you put on an apron so you don't get your clothes covered in powdered sugar or <laughs> other food. Okay, think I'm just about. You need help? Ready, <laughs> thanks. Okay. So you can put that in. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Okay, so now, what do we do next? Oh, now you're gonna put in okay. two tablespoons okay. of pineapple juice, which is right there. Okay, here we go. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. Okay, one tablespoon. Woo! <laughs> and two tablespoons. Whoa, it's looking really tasty already. Okay. And now you can mix it up. Ooh, okay. I guess we get to mix it up. Here we go. 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the oven. And Chef Matthew, he gave me some really nice orange gloves. And they're my favorite color. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get out the crust. Okay. We have the crust right here. Oh, and it looks so flaky and golden brown. I can't wait to eat this yummy crust. <laughs> but let's put a couple more toppings on it because it could taste even better with those. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we'll let this cool off a little more. So what should we do while we wait? Okay, so. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hey. Now we're gonna talk about all the fruits that are here on the table. So this is a banana. Okay. And we'll cut it up. Now remember, if you use a knife, you want to make sure you have a professional <laughs> like Chef Matthew or a grown-up to help you out, because they can be a little dangerous. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, really good at cutting. <laughs> I'll try my best too. Here we go. Okay, so now that the banana slice, what do we do with it? Okay, now we have blueberries. Ooh. Blueberries. Ooh. Did you see that? Chef Matthew was teaching us how to sign blueberries in ASO, or American Sign Language. And these are kiwi. Oh, you see these? <laughs> they look so yummy. And there's no sign for kiwi, so you have to spell. Okay. K. K. I. I w. W. I. I. Whoa, that was really cool. It's, let's see if we can spell that one more time, a little slower. <laughs> and this time, you can try to follow along with us if you like. Are you ready? So, K. I. W. I. <laughs> Kiwi. Doesn't have a sign, so you just spell it. <laughs> Whoa, and what about this over here? These are strawberries. Whoa. Have you eaten a kiwi before? They're so sweet. <laughs> Chef Matthew, do you have a favorite fruit? And I love have, having strawberries all year round, but during the summer, I love eating blueberries. Ooh. <laughs> I love eating blueberries in the summer too. <laughs> wow. This smiley face has a really big smile. <laughs> Look at it. Whoa. <laughs> you missed the nose. Oh no. What are we gonna do for the nose? Hmm. Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> we have a strawberry. <laughs> so silly. This is gonna be a really cool nose. <laughs> and I bet this smiley face is really happy because it gets to smell like strawberries all the time. <laughs> Here we go. And we need a little more strawberry so it tastes super good. So let's make some strawberry. Some ears. Yeah, let's put some ears on the side. Maybe add a tongue. 
Oh, a tongue? <laughs> Whoa! That's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're done decorating all of the pizza. Well, this was so much fun learning about ASL and making a really delicious smiley face treat. <laughs> Wait a minute, Flippy. You missed one thing. Hmm. One very important thing to make a perfect pizza. You need the pineapple glaze. The glaze! Oh! <laughs> well, I'll let you do this part, Chef Matthew. And I guess we pour the glaze on top. Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! <laughs> the glaze is gonna make it so tasty! <laughs> and really sweet. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that looks great! <laughs> Thank you, Chef Matthew. That was awesome. Oh, we did so many amazing things and followed all the steps to make a really yummy pizza for our feast. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you both. <laughs> and it was nice to have a fun time with you. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we spell my name together? Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, hey. It's me, Blippi. And look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay. Let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather? Oh, <laughs> tickle. Or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow, see, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay. There are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? 
Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right. Let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect. Put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a triceratops. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the triceratops. But what if we added a brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... Perfect. Okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount of volume. One quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense. Which one is heavier? Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, 
Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Whoa. It can push more. By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer And they can move through some rough terrain They can move all kinds of things Bulldozer, clearing the land Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer Clearing the land Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Roll, roll on, bulldozer Comes the it's a yellow machine. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. You better move over. Here comes the it's a yellow machine. Ring, ring. <laughs> right, put in the blocks. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright! See you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean up now. <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, you and I get to learn about matter! <laughs> yeah! Did you know matter? Yeah, it's anything that takes up space. I matter, <laughs> and you're matter, and learning about matter matters. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, there are three kinds of matter, three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> A solid is anything with really tightly packed particles. <laughs> yeah, hmm, just like my glasses. See? These glasses are made of plastic, and they're really hard. <laughs> they're a solid. Hmm, another state of matter is a liquid. Yeah, a liquid It's not so tightly packed. It's more loosely packed, kind of like water you might drink. See, the water flows and changes shape. Ooh. <laughs> It went from the big container to the small container. Mm -hmm. And you can move around and take all types of different shapes, especially when you're drinking through a bendy straw. Ah, ooh, <laughs> so delicious and refreshing. Hmm. Hmm. And the last state of matter is a gas. A gas isn't tightly packed with particles like a solid, and it's not really loosely packed like a liquid. <laughs> no, a gas is really free and flowy with particles that go all over the place. <laughs> yeah! Just like that, it's also the air we breathe. 
<laughs> it's really fun to use the gas or the air we breathe to fill up a balloon. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> well, it was really cool learning about solids, liquids, and gases. But did you know that some things can be two states of matter? Yeah, not just a solid, or not just a liquid. Hey, why don't you and I make some slime? Or oobleck. <laughs> yeah, oobleck can be a solid, and it can be a liquid. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so much fun to make together. But first, we need all of our supplies. Looks like we have a bunch here. You'll need a bowl. Woo. <laughs> yeah, a bowl. And I have a lid too. And the most important thing is cornstarch. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go, it's snowing. Woo, <laughs> cornstarch. And I also have some really fun orange glitter Ooh. for some decorations. Hmm, what else do we have? We have some water <laughs> and oh, some cool food coloring. <laughs> so we can make it my favorite colors, orange and blue. <laughs> I think we're all ready to start making some oobleck. First, I need to make sure to put on my apron. Because it can get really messy when you're doing experiments. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're all ready to start. So first, we'll grab a bowl and we'll grab a measuring cup and we're gonna start filling it up to one third of a cup. Just kinda it up. It doesn't have to be exact. It can just kind of be as close to one third of a cup as possible. Whoa. Okay. So now we put the cornstarch in. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, for oobleck, we need two parts cornstarch to one part water. So let's do that one more time. So we put in all the cornstarch, and now we just need to put in one third cup of water. That's all oobleck is, just cornstarch and water. Here we go. Fill that up. Yeah, that's all you need, just a little water. Pour that in. And now, <laughs> it's really fun. You get to use your hands to mix it all up. Ooh, it's gonna be really sticky. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Mixing up this oobleck is so fun. Look, it's so sticky and the cornstarch is mixing up with the water. Yeah, you can slide it around, make sure it all gets mixed in really good. Yeah, here we go, mixing. <laughs> Whoa, it's starting to feel really sticky and really slimy. Mm. <laughs> this is a really fun thing to play with. It's really cool to touch it and mix it around. <laughs> well, I think we got some oobleck. It's looking really good. Mm. I'm gonna wipe off my hands with paper towel. Mm. I think I'm gonna put a little more cornstarch. If your oobleck is a little too runny and watery, you can just take another scoop cornstarch and mix it in. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else to make this oobleck super special. I'm gonna add some glitter. Whoa, okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> this oobleck's gonna be really pretty and really sticky when we're done with it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mix it up a little more. So now we have the oobleck and the glitter all mixed up. This oobleck is awesome. Well, oobleck, like we were saying, is a liquid and a solid. See, when you take the oobleck and 
you pour it, it pours like a liquid. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Wow! Yeah! It pours just like a liquid. Hmm. But it's not just like a liquid, because if you take something like a spatula or your hand, normally a liquid would be really messy and splash everywhere when you hit it. But with this spoon, see? When I hit it, it doesn't splash at all. Mm, no! It is tightly packed and staying where it is. <laughs> Just like a solid. Ooh, Oob like is amazing! <laughs> see? Whoa! <laughs> well, that's really cool. But did you know you can do so many different things with Ooblet? <laughs> yeah! Come over here and we'll check it out. This right here is a really big speaker. And you can try this experiment at home too. We covered it with some plastic wrap. And then we're gonna pour some oobleck on top of the plastic wrap on the speaker. Whoa, look at it go. So drippy. Okay. And now that we have our oobleck on the speaker, we get to play some music. <laughs> yeah music. When we play the music out of this speaker, it will make the oobleck dance around. <laughs> Whoa! Because the oobleck is kind of a liquid and kind of a solid, it will do some really cool things. <laughs> Let's see how it dances. was dancing and making all kinds of really fun shapes. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Well, that was a really fun experiment, but one thing you should remember is never put oobleck down the drain. Mm -mm. You should put it in the trash because if you put oobleck down the drain, that's a different experiment. It's called the plumber. <laughs> so silly. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm going to keep playing with some Oobleck. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. <laughs> Weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah, hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoohoo, check it out. Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. 
Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! Whoa! Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow! Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, whoa, is so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue and white. Woohoo! Whee! Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa, check it out. Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are, whoa, it is so stormy out. Yeah! It is white and green! Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> wow! I love the rain! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet! You see this? Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain. And then all this rain collected from the top. Do you see how much it says? Wow. Yeah, it says about two inches. Yeah, that's just over five centimeters of rain. Wow, that's a lot of rain. Okay, I'm gonna pour it back onto our planet Earth. Because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, check it out. Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh! 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 oh a rainbow! Oh! A double rainbow! Oh! 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 It's full on! Oh! Oh! Even a triple rainbow! Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. 
Yeah, it turns into a gas. It goes up in the air and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud. That cloud looks like a piggy. Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud. That cloud looks like a T-Rex. <laughs> wow. And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> Whoa. And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. Looks nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain. It looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rain. Stormy, hot, muggy days A lightning bolt That thundering sound There's a storm coming any moment now Tornadoes, hurricanes and floods Sometimes weather can be dangerous Weather, weather, all kinds of weather Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days Stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet, and everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped, and the sun's shining again. Icy blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah. We're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? <laughs> I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. 
Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great, well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide, or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa, I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Airplanes, airplanes, 
up high Some airplanes are as big as a building Some are as small as a car That's amazing! Some airplanes transport people Some fly near to the stars That's four! Some airplanes fly with propellers Some airplanes fly with jet engines I love to look up and see their wings Waving down at me Hey, airplane! Airplanes, airplanes Flying all around the sky Airplanes, airplanes Flying way up high Some airplanes can land on water But most land on landing strips So versatile! Some airplanes fly just for fun Some fly for business trips Business or pleasure You can make an airplane out of paper Throw it in the air and watch it go I love to look up and see its wings Waving down at me much fun learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
what it is. Yeah, it's a backhoe. And today, you and I are going to learn about backhoes. <laughs> Now it's time to learn the exterior parts of the backhoe. Come on. Wow, this backhoe is so big. Oh, and look at what else is big. Yeah, this is a big wheel and tire. Oh, and hey, up here, is a smaller wheel and tire. Ooh, look, wow. This is tread of the tire. And tread is used so then when it spins, it doesn't slip and slide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am sure dizzy. <laughs> whoa, come here. This right here is the cab. And this is where the operator of the backhoe sits. Wow, so cool. Ooh, and look up there. That, the, yeah, those are the headlights. And that right there is the turn signal. So then you can drive this backhoe on city streets. Legally! Wow! Wow! This is a stabilizer leg, and it's normally up, but right now it's down in the mud. So then when the backhoe is digging, it's nice and stable. Whoa! I am so stable. Woo! And this of the backhoe is called the boom. That up there is the arm. And this arm is actually pretty special because it has an, ex an extender ex hose. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at this. This is the back bucket of the backhoe. It can get some pretty big scoops. <laughs> we'll get some together later. Come on! Whoa! That is the exhaust. That's where the engine pushes all of its exhaust from. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. This is the front bucket, and it's really big, even bigger than the back bucket. And this front bucket is actually pretty special. It is a four-in-one bucket, and it acts like a clamshell. I love clams. <laughs> wow, look at this. These are hydraulic hoses. This is a hydraulic cylinder, and hydraulics are used to provide power by pushing fluid through them to the front and the back bucket. Wow, I love back hoes. Time to drive and operate the backhoe. Come on. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Are we forgetting something? Yeah. First things first. Safety first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got my hard hat on and my orange safety vest. All right, now it's time to drive and operate the backhoe. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. I think we're forgetting something else. Yeah, we need to make sure that the engine is good to go. So let's go check it. Come on. This is the hood of the engine. So let's open it up. Whoa, this is a massive engine. See, this is the air filter. This is the coolant. There's a giant tube from the radiator, the alternator, the battery. Wow, this is so powerful. But what you and I need to do is check the oil and it's down there. All right, so the oil is down there with the yellow O dipstick. The transmission is over there with the T dipstick. So let's grab the yellow O dipstick. <gasps> yeah. Okay, we need to wipe it off. Put it back in. So now we can inspect the oil. Yeah, looks like it's okay. <laughs> All right, put it back in. And now that the backhoe is good to go, we can drive it. Let's go. Now we're inside the backhoe. Woo, and first things first, safety first. We have to put on our seatbelt. Good job. The cool thing about backhoes are there's a front side and a back side. So we'll check out the front side. Whoa, look at this. This is the steering wheel. This is how you drive the backhoe. <laughs> Ooh, and this right here, this is the shifter. This is how you put it in forward or reverse. And over here, this, yeah, they're the turn signals. As well as, listen. <laughs> yeah, the horn. <gasps> and this, this is how you operate the front bucket. You pull it back to make it go up. You push it forward to make it go down. Yeah, it's so great. And now let's go check out the back, okay? Wow, as you can see, the back is where the boom is, the arm, the bucket, and the stabilizer legs. And how you operate those is primarily with these two joysticks. This one, oh, whoa, whoa, and this one, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now both of them at once, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, and check out this little black button. Okay, listen. Yeah, good job. All right, now it's time to use the backhoe. Let's turn it on.
Tacos are the most versatile machine on the job site because it has the big front bucket and the small back bucket. Now it's time for the backhoe dance. And how you do it is when you see a backhoe front bucket on the screen, you dance like this, okay? And when you see a back backhoe bucket, you dance like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. An excavating machine digging in the earth. <laughs> okay, get ready. It's got a bucket attached to a hinge and a boom. It's called a backhoe and it's really cool. A backhoe at construction sites, digging trenches for laying pipes. <laughs> All right, here comes another one. But it cleans it up so easily. A backhoe, backhoe. Last one. Ah! Oh, back home, back home, back home dance. Good job. learning about backhoes with you. Thanks so much for watching the Blippi Backhoe video. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? All right. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. See you again. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. <laughs> and you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not going to learn about tunes. We're going to learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow. All right, let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa, and today, yeah. You and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa, and maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> First, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa, okay. Let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay, all right. Let's see. One quarter cup of salt. All right, it is definitely already getting really messy. 
Okay, one quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Perfect. All right. Okay, let me zip this back up. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name! <laughs> That's so fun! Cream of tartar! <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right, put the lid back on just so it does not spill. That would be bad news, Barry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. Do you know what H2O stands for? Yeah! Water. I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flour. You should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. You can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's gonna make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Wow, check it out! Wow. Whoa, homemade clay! Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're going to make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then now you can use these. Yeah. They're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Wow! Yeah, check it out! Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look! <laughs> cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out and then Let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. 
And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that, whoa, pull the sides away, wow, and now, oh, oh that's silly, look, what is that, yeah, it's a little poochie, <laughs> okay, we'll save you, we'll put you right there, perfect. All right, one pooch and one airplane. Huh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L. Huh, a B, a P, an I, and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I, we would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect. All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, and if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we've got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we have an L. All right, nice little L right there. Yeah. So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. B L I. Yeah. B L I. What's the next letter? Yeah. P. And there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah. The color orange. B L I P. We need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got. Here we go. We got B L I P P. What's the next letter? B L I P P. Yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah. Good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There 
we go. All right. Now, let's make one more thing. Huh. Hey. Well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters, yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I'm definitely making a mess with all these small pieces. So, look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See, you can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, we go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look. There we go. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow. <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands, roll it around. Yeah, look. It's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, oh, that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah! And it was really fun, yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah. A doggy. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B oh, L I P P I Blippi. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye-bye.